What is up everybody on YouTube Thrift School over here and today we are going to be answering the question if the JFJ Easy Pro is worth the money, does it work, can you really have a disc that looks as scratched as that and turn it into that and still have it work? We're about to find out, we're about to test it right here for you guys. We have a DVD right here, uh, it's just a regular DVD, it is near mint on the bottom which I will show you right now. There is the bottom of the disc. As you guys can tell, it looks extremely mint. We are going to take scissors to this disc. But before we do that, I'm gonna put it into my computer to show you guys that it works flawlessly, works perfectly fine. So let's pop this in and make sure it works. All right, we'll click on the disc and there we go. Working beautifully. And with the letter of the law in giving this vision to David. All right. The little boy whose pet this goose is. Robin, you'd hardly believe it. But so you can see how it works perfectly fine. Now we're going to eject the disc and test this guy by scratching it up and running it through the JFJ Easy Pro. See, it's still the same disc right there. We are going to take these scissors to it which my dog got to and we are going to scratch them up as best as we can let me set up the camera and you guys will see exactly how intensely i plan on scratching this thing up so here's the disc let's start scratching just like it looks on that picture we are just scratching it away at it Scratching away, scratching away. You can hear it. Sure. Start to see some of the scratches, but we want to really make sure this thing is scratched up. So I'm just going to start. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm getting my uh, desk a little bit. Ooh, that one was a little deep. Uh, probably shouldn't have gone that deep, but now you guys can see exactly how it looks. It is uh, pretty beat. There we go. Definitely see it in that light right there. I got around the entire disc. This thing is, uh, it's definitely shot. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. Now you guys can really see it. That is beat. And I went a little deep in a few places, so we're going to hope that we're able to buff that out. Hope that it works, but when I find discs like this at thrift stores or pawn shops or even at video game stores or tag sales, anywhere that you're going, I don't really worry and I still pick video games up like this, DVDs, CDs, because I know I can fix them. Uh, now this is a bit of an extreme case, so we're going to test it out. Uh, make sure that this JFJ Easy Pro is flipped on. That switch right there. And now a quick rundown of the JFJ Easy Pro. We have a polishing pad or a polishing compound, another polishing compound, and a sandpaper. So we want to start with the sandpaper to really kind of eat away at these scratches, kind of build a new layer. And I could feel these scratches. These are deep. You really don't want to scratch them that much, but this is the ultimate test. So what you do, take the sandpaper, pop it in. It's Velcro in there. So there we go. See? Nice and good like that. Open this bad boy up. It's hard to do with one hand. Stick the disc on like so and screw it back on. All right, so that's on now. Close it up. And with the sandpaper, you only want to do around 10 seconds. So we're going to turn that on. You can hear it working. It's magic in there. And uh, once 10 seconds are up, we'll take a look at the disc. If it still looks really bad, we can do another 10 seconds, but we'll take a look at it, and it still looks horrible. So it's still extremely scratched, so we're going to try to scratch, uh, use that sandpaper one more time. Now this comes with two different kinds of sandpaper, it comes with a soft and a coarse. So we're using the soft right now, which is less rough on the disc, and if this sandpaper doesn't end up working then we will try the course. So you can still see the scratches are very noticeable, but we're gonna use the polishing compound now and 
hopefully that works. So you want to start with the white one, stick that in there, and it, the JFJ Easy Pro comes with these uh, polishing compounds. Now I also purchased these down here. I purchased bigger refillable things because in the long run, depending on how many discs you're going to be cleaning, this will save you a lot of money. But we're going to use the smaller bottles that came with the unit right now. All right, so what you want to do when you squirt this polishing compound on is to get it in the sides right here, one little squirt. That was kind of a big squirt. And, you know, just stick it all around the sides. Close up the top and then I just rub it in with the top of the cap and I will rub it all around this uh, pad right here. I believe I've used this pad before, but I do not recall. So we're really going to make sure we cover this thing as full as we can. And that's, that's looking good. That is going to help out immensely. All right. So that's on there. It doesn't even stay on there. See, it leaves no residue. It's pretty awesome. So we'll stick this down. And now, with these polishing compounds, you want to go between one and two minutes. All the directions are right on the back here. It says one to two minutes. So we are going to do two minutes since I scratched the crap out of that. So let's hit two minutes. It's going to run, and then I will be back in two minutes. And we will use this polishing compound, which makes it nice and shiny and see if the disc works, how it looks. It still looks really bad. You run it through the cycle again with this sandpaper and let's hope it still plays the movie. Now, just to test, you can see, there we go. Movie's not playing, it's not working. It says no disc. So that's that. This is the disc in here. So hopefully we get it working. All right, so that first compound just finished. Still see the disc looks absolutely horrible. I have a very good feeling we're going to have to run the sandpaper quite a few more times. But, you know, still got to follow through with this. We're going to use this compound right now. Squirt it on. And one thing you're not supposed to do that I did was leave this clamp down. You can see it made a disc mark in the pad. I'm still going to run it. It's going to make a little more noise, but eventually it smooths out and it's all good to go. So that's something just to, you know, remember before you stick a, leave a disc in here. You want to pull out the pad so you don't ruin it. All right, so this is getting nice and rubbed in here. Ah, that's good enough. Okay, stick it down. And on the back of this one, it says 30 seconds to one minute. If it will focus for me, there you go. So we're going to do one minute. We want to do the maximum here and you'll hear how loud it is. Now it has quieted down quite a bit because that pad has smoothed out. Um, still runs a little loud, so you do want to make sure you do not leave that closed down. I could have used a new one, but I was just showing you guys. It still works. Never had any issues with it. I have been using this machine for over a year now. You can see it also works with Blu-ray discs, which are pretty awesome. All right, so I just finished up this, pulled it out. You can still see there is still a bit of an indent, a bit of a divot, so it will make that noise, but it is okay. You can see right here, uh, still lots of scratches. It's definitely better. Now, what you want to do is get a sort of cloth. Uh, they send you a microfiber cloth with this that I lost. So I just use this regular cloth and it's soft enough. It doesn't leave any marks or anything like that. So we're going to wipe down this disc, get it looking a little bit better and test it out. All right. So here's the disc. I just finished wiping it down. Obviously there are still scratches on it. Quite a quite a few scratches. We're going to stick it into the DVD player on the computer, test it out, see if it works. Um, because I did rub my finger over it and I can't feel any divots, which is surprising. I still see them though. So we're going to test it out. Hopefully it still works and that would be great. Uh, no promises here, but we're about to find out. All right. So let's try and play this up right now. It's loading. Come on. <laughs> I don't really have faith in the way it looked, um, but we're going to give it a shot and hope that it's able to find it. So it doesn't seem like it is able to find it. Open disc. Let's see. Play. It is not finding the DVD. So we're going to run it through again because you guys saw how rough I was with this. Maybe a little too rough, but I do have some faith. 
So let's clean away those scratch. Oh, those are deep. Let's clean this away and let's try again. So you can see the soft right there. Here is the course with the C on it. We're gonna stick that in there. Give it a little more oomph. And we're just gonna pop it on for 20 seconds. We're gonna go to the max because we know it's not working. So we're gonna try to really buff away at that disc and turn the scratches into beautifulness, hopefully. We'll find out very shortly. All right, so that just finished up. You could see the disc was really buffed there. Definitely looks better. A lot of those scratches are gone, so it's a good thing we used the course. So now we're gonna try polishing it again. So we're gonna stick this on with this liquid and run it for two more minutes. All right, it's running right now, two minutes. Let's get this thing cleaned up and tested. All right, so the two minutes just ended on him. You could see uh, it's a little wet. You can still see some scratches on there. Not as bad as before though, which has me a little hopeful. We're gonna squirt this on there and stick it on for one more minute. All right, the polishing just finished up. Still definitely see lots of scratches, but we're gonna wipe it down with this cloth and give it a shot and see if it works. I really hope so because uh, I'm not, not super hopeful. I still see those scratches, but we'll give it a shot. All right, here is the disc after wiping it clean. There are still definitely scratches on it, but we're gonna stick it into the system. Hopefully it works. If it works, we'll have a good time. All right, loading up, come on baby. I hear it doing its thing. Hit play, nothing. We'll go to open disc, DVD, play, nada. So what we're gonna do, pop it back out. All right, so we have the disc here. We're gonna pop it into the computer, close it on in. Now we have to reopen the video player and uh, I hear it spinning. Which is good, it's good to hear it spinning. <laughs> Let's open up the media player and hope that it plays. Over to disc. It popped up. Come on, baby. Not looking so good. At least the computer read it this time, so it is making progress. So we're gonna open up that disc, give it one more shot. And if it doesn't play, we're gonna do round three and hope that this thing works uh it is reading it you can see right here it's reading it and hit play again it's just not playing it there is still an issue with the disc so we're gonna pull it back out sand it back down polish it back up and round three we go all right just pulled it out after the third time in there you can see there are still some scratches it's not perfect but it's better than it was so round three Commence, let's hope it works. I'm hoping, I'm praying. Let's see if this thing is worth the hundred plus dollars. Oh, it read it real fast that time. We're gonna open up the video player and we're gonna try to play this thing. Oh, it's reading it, let's hit play. Oh, come on. That looks good. Let's open up the same video that we played last time. Oh, ho, ho, ho. It seems to be working. The manner is that the people heard the facts and you know the law. Skip forward. Also, a man doesn't take advantage of it. But I thought you said never to admit a mistake. Oh, it's working beautifully. Too much kindness. We could stop it. I would call that a major success. It's still pretty scratched, but it plays perfectly fine now. Skips around uh, when I want it to. Doesn't skip on its own, which is nice. Uh, there are still some scratches. You can't feel them, so it's not like they're super deep, but there are a few scratches still on there. If I really wanted to, I could run it through one or two more times to really try to clean it up. Now, the issue with doing it too many times is you start to eat away at the layers of the disc, and then it... It's pretty much rendered useless. So I didn't want to get to that point. Now I probably could still run it through one or two more times before that even started to become a factor. So that is good. We do know it works. 
We know it works beautifully. Now, the claim is we can turn discs from that to that. Now, I did go a little hard on this with a pair of scissors. I, I mean, I scratched this thing up. And uh, you can see now that it does still have scratches. It's nowhere near as bad as it was, but it does still have some scratches. Now, there have been times where I've purchased games that have scratches like this, and I do turn them into that. And that's mostly from just sitting on a table, rubbing around like that they tend to get surface scratches and this thing can clean surface scratches I mean super nice we could definitely turn something that has surface scratches from that to that anytime now when you purposefully take scissors and dig away at the back of a disc I uh, didn't think it would work it worked though so this I mean I would say this is definitely worth it now I do have an affiliate link down below uh, I have it for all my items that I use in my business, but I do swear by this machine. It, it's done so much. It's definitely helped me make way more money by repairing all the things that normally I wouldn't be able to repair. So I, I highly recommend it. Now, if it didn't work, uh, you probably wouldn't be seeing this video and I'd have to be rethinking which product I'm using, but it worked. I'm happy. Uh, of course, it's not going to make it look flawless when you dig into it with scissors, but most discs you find that have a few scratches, they're going to work just fine.